Hi friends, welcome to day two of my losing 30 pounds in three months challenge to kick off the first quarter of 2023. I put all my food from yesterday on Instagram and Facebook, Jennifer Parsley Wellness on both of those. Welcome to the channel if you're new, I'm Jennifer Parsley of Jennifer Parsley Wellness and I've given myself a big health challenge in the new year. I have a few things that I wanna to talk to y'all about today. I made a list. <laughs> the first thing is use the tools you have. That's what I'm doing to kick off the new year. I have, and I'm sure many of you uh, who are interested in this type of information, you've probably done every diet. You probably have tons of cookbooks. You probably have all the information and you probably know what works best for you. For me, I know that a whole food plant-based diet, cut out all the extra rich things, the little bits of cheese that made its way in because it's okay to be vegetarian. I know what works best for me and my body. And I'm just getting back to that. Like I'm 50 years old, I've tried every diet and I know what makes me feel good. The food is great, it fills me up. I don't feel like I'm starving. And I know that this type of diet helps people lose 10 pounds per month. It's a great amount of weight loss and it's predictable. You clean up the diet and you work this way. Not, you know, 100%. You also have to work on emotional eating and you cannot eat as much as you want. As much as the plant-based doctors and the whole movement try to tell you, you cannot eat as much as you want, which is why I'm doing this portion control thing. So using the tools that I have, I've been interested in, I go to the blogs, I read the cookbooks, I download people's tools and things that they offer. And so that's this plan that I have right now, this um, Happy Herbivore Supreme Slim Down flu Blueprint. <laughs> um, I did find a link for it. It is for sale and she offers it with personal coaching, which you're welcome to if you're interested in that, work with Lindsay, or if you're interested in like my style, I do personal health coaching as well at jenniferparsleywellness.com. And um, also the plan is offered just as a PDF for I think $59, nothing else comes with it. And there's a medium one where you get some extra eBooks and things like that for like 79 or 99. I will try to put the link down below. I'll try to put links to things since I am doing videos every single day, my descriptions are not gonna be full of tons of information, um, but I think I, I do have time today, so I will get those links in there for you today. Uh, I believe it's happyherbivore.com slash supreme dash slim down, but I'll put the link in the description for y'all. So that's one of the things I'm doing of using the tools I have. Also the workouts that I already had on my phone, the vegan aesthetics is something I already have paid for memberships in the past. I just dug those out. Maybe you've done the same thing. Dig out a workout book, a PDF, a app that you already have on your phone. Because honestly, like all diets work and workout plans work if you do the work. So that's what I'm doing is really working on my mindset and accountability for myself as I move ahead. That was the first thing, the key thing I wanted to, to, to give y'all. Second one I mentioned yesterday is about packing up food to go for work, especially breakfast. This works really well. I just use a basic thermos, thermos brand and all, because um, these are the best. This keeps stuff hot all day, really all day, definitely until your next meal and keep stuff really hot. Sometimes I have to open it and let it cool out, <laughs> off a little. I'll try to put a link to this exact type of thermos for you down below as well. So I've been doing the recipes, the whole food, weight loss type recipes. Um, and I'm trying to, every time I cook, make at least two portions. So this morning, as you'll see on Instagram, we had these lem <clears throat> lemon drop oats, which is just oats, banana, almond milk, and juice of a lemon. I put a little lemon zest on there to get fancy. Um, I did have a request to talk about portion sizes. This is a half a cup of oats, 
one banana, half a cup of almond milk, and a little bit of lemon juice or lemon zest, like half a lemon, quarter of a lemon, however much you like for lemony flavor. So I have this leftover. I made extra this morning. I even made a portion for my husband who was going for a bike ride. And um, I have these leftovers, which I can easily reheat in a pan or a microwave. If you use a microwave, I don't just because we like to reheat things <laughs> on the oven or in a pan. I'll heat that up in a pan with probably a little extra water to loosen it up. And then I put it right in this thermos and I am ready to go. Like the next time I have massage clients, some days I work like 10 to three and I'll just have my tea in the morning and I do a little bit of fasting. I let my body rest from the meal from the night before, but I am having breakfast, lunch, and dinner and I might be hungry um, as soon as I get there before my 10 o'clock client or something like that. Um, and it will be hot, ready to go. I can show you my lunch bag too, oh. hold on. This is my little lunch bag. It's insulated, especially helpful in the summertime when I'm trying to keep things cool. I can put a little ice block in there. I take a little cloth napkin and this is like an iced teaspoon. This long spoon is good for getting into my thermos. And that's what I pack up to take to work. You can also put savory things in here, soup, stews, curries, a lot of the recipes, things you'll be seeing I could reheat and throw in my thermos or in just a regular container. But uh, this is how I get hot meals with me, which is especially important in the winter time. All right, that was the second thing I wanna tell you all about today. And then on to the food, and then I'll talk about the workout. And like I said, I'm trying to keep these a little bit brief. Let me know in the comments if you like shorter videos or if you want me to ramble on about all the details in longer videos. <laughs> I'd be happy to do. Either way, I tend to ramble. But if you like them short, let me know in the comments. So food for today. Like I said, I had my lemon drop oats for breakfast. For lunch today, I will show you, it is ready to put together right now. I cooked up a tray of sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are super good starch for keeping you full. They are a total whole food full of fiber. So I'm gonna have half of one of these huge sweet potatoes which I just cut in half and throw in the oven on a piece of parchment for about an hour. Like I pop them in there right before the oven gets to 400, but you need at least 45 minutes, which is usually not enough, closer to an hour. My pets love these. My dog and one of my cats love roasted sweet potatoes. And I just put them cut side down, roast them up for an hour. I've got a piping hot sweet potato and then these get topped. These get topped with steamed broccoli and spinach, which is, which is literally just frozen bags of broccoli and spinach. And again, I'm making enough to have leftovers. So this amount, a full bag of, what are they, 12 ounce bags of broccoli and one of spinach, that's enough half of those veggies will go on today's sweet potato and half will go on another leftover and so that i'm getting 12 ounces of vegetables so these are that, what i love about the plant-based diet you get portions you fill yourself up the portions are great um again pictures proper pictures <laughs> instead of me just throwing stuff in front of the camera will be on a facebook page and instagram page so sweet potato broccoli, spinach, and this beautiful little goddess dressing, which is got a bit of tahini, which is quite rich. So when I made this out, it's got tahini. It smelled wonderful when I was blending it. I just made it in the blender. It's got tahini, um, a scallion, some red wine vinegar, a little bit of tamari for saltiness, water, garlic powder there was there's not that much in it 
uh, but it smells delicious. And so I, this is a half a cup container, so you really only get about a quarter cup because it's a richer dressing at that higher calorie density with the tahini. I could have made a version that ha would have double this amount with hummus, but I wanted the tahini version because I love tahini dressings. So potato, veggies, tahini dressing, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some scallions on top of that, more vegetables. And that will really fill me up for my lunch, for dinner. <laughs> Keep running back and forth for y'all. I'm gonna roast a spaghetti squash, and I have a recipe for a pad thai type recipe, which is super simple. It uses frozen stir fry veggies which I'm thawing in my sink right now. One bag of frozen stir fry veg, 12 ounces is enough for two portions. So my dinner plus another, I'm not sure if Simon's gonna want this or if he's gonna want some Christmas leftovers or something else, I don't know. Um, but the diet dinner, he's welcome to one portion or I'll save another and have it later. So spaghetti squash is used in place of noodles in this pad thai. And I get a whole half of this spaghetti squash, or I may not use all of that because I'm not the hugest fan of spaghetti squash. Um, but I know it's good for me, full of fiber, fills the belly, very low calories. That's why it's being used in this whole food portion control plan that's really focused on weight loss. So I'm gonna fill the belly with that, the frozen stir fry veg, and there's a little bit of a, a peanut based sauce, like hot sauce, peanut butter. I haven't really looked at the recipe that closely yet, but some sort of like Thai spicy peanut sauce, which will be very low amount of peanut butter for weight loss. And then what was the last thing I was going to talk to you about? Oh, well, I'm going to talk about my workout too. Um, so on this plan between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it is calorie controlled, like about 1200 calories. I am not really a calorie logger kind of gal because I used to do that back in my 20s and like was obsessed about it. And when we had the, you remember when we had those paper books of the calorie value of everything and I would look it up and keep a journal. I calorie counted for years and I don't, that's why I pay for plans. They give me the recipes and they say how many calories and they put them together into a meal plan for you and it's like 1200 calories a day. All worked out for me. I just cook the meals, mix and match. It should all work out. And then I will adjust based on the scale and that's where my own coaching myself comes in. I'll know if I need to adjust. I will know if I'm having too rich of things or if I need to add in more greens or just smaller portions, whatever I need to do, I'll adjust based on my results. And uh, so anyways, between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I think there's like 100 calories left. And you can have a snack, there's a list of whole food snacks, little mini recipes, um, or you can have a dessert. There's a few dessert recipes, which are pretty basic, like a chocolatey tofu mousse. One's got like some pumpkin in it and some oats or something. So you're still, you're still using things like tofu, pumpkin, oats, you know, it's not, you're not getting like chocolate chip cookies for your dessert. <laughs> you're getting a very healthy, low calorie density dessert. Or you can have one of these snack ideas or a little bit of extra food, 100 calories. So for me, since this pod thai dinner is based on spaghetti squash, and I'm not a huge fan, and it does not fill me up the way starch does, one of the options for your extra snack is three quarters cup of brown rice. And I know that I will be much more satiated if I add rice to my pad thai. And instead of having, I was gonna, I was wanting to make the little pumpkin dessert today until I saw what dinner looked like. I'm like, nope, I'm gonna have to use my calories to put rice in with my pad thai because that'll fill me up, that'll be starch. And it's good for me to get out of the habit of having dessert every day. I used was having, I was kind of on a sugar binge <laughs> in 2022, all of it, like having dessert every day, having dessert sometimes for lunch and dessert for dinner, a lunch dessert, a dinner dessert. Yeah, I don't need all of that. So um, yeah, it's 
second day. Didn't have any dessert yesterday. It's not gonna kill me to not have any dessert today. And I'll mess around with those little dessert recipes when I feel like the dinner is plenty satiating enough the way it's written. Then I might try the little pumpkin dessert that I've been wanting to try or the chocolate mousse. So that's that with the food. You know where to find the pictures. Instagram, Facebook, Jennifer Parsley Wellness. <clears throat> Last thing I was going to tell you all about was my workout today. I am in, I'm still in gym mode. I went to the gym this morning about, I don't know, before 10 o'clock. Let me tell you, the gym was packed on January 2nd. Most people have the day off of work today too. It was packed. Um, but luckily my little gym, I had enough equipment. Somehow it worked out. Whatever piece of equipment I needed at that minute, I was able to do. Could, the treadmills were booked. So I did some, one of these little trainer things where you put your feet in the thing. It's like a weight free stepper kind of thing. I don't know. I did that and that was an even tougher warm up than my treadmill. So it worked out fine. It was good to use that piece of equipment. And today was a push day. So all the exercises were upper body and they were about push type movements. So I did some military press with this barbell. I just use a 20 pound barbell, but these little weeny tiny barbells. And I just have to adjust for my weight. I'm 50 years old. I'm in menopause. I've never been a big, huge athlete. I do what I can do and I'm going to build up the weights. I know if I can't finish it and have good form, I have too much weight. One of my exercises today, I'm going to have to actually lighten up on the next exercise. So I did these military press and you do three sets of like 10 or 12 of each exercise with a 60 second pause in between. So three of these military presses overhead with the barbell. And then I did down on the bench, same barbell, 20 pounds. Down on the bench, I did chest presses, which when I'm when you're lying on your back, you have a bit extra support, but I still couldn't go up in the weight. So I did three sets of those. And then some, oh, um, holding dumbbells out to the side, side lifts. I had five pounds in each hand, and that's all I can do. That's all my delts can do right now. I'm gonna build up, but uh, those side presses, and then I did a chest press with two cables. And I first, I thought I could do like 12 and a half pounds on each side, which would be 25 pound chest press. <laughs> no way, I did seven and a half on each side. So 15 pounds, it's like I couldn't even move it. And I was shaking, my arms were shaking by the end of it. I did those and then I did these forward and to the side. No, actually like this. And just holding a free weight, I was holding five pounds in each hand in this one. I didn't have good form. Next time I need to do three pounds in each hand. So I did up and to the side, front and side. So like 10 or 12 front side, like you have to do both to count as one rep, three sets of those. And then I ended with these tricep pull downs with the cable machine where you're just holding the thing and you're pressing down the tricep. So I don't know if any of y'all are interested in my workout details, but that just gives you a feel for how much exercise I'm doing. And I do a workout like that, six exercises, three sets of each, three times a week. It takes me 30, 40 minutes to do it, something like that. I drink a lot of water when I'm at the gym and I drink green tea, herbal tea during the day, really clean as far as what I'm ingesting liquids, not adding calories from any liquids. And yeah, so I did, the, I aim to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just based on my schedule for the workouts. But I also, like I mentioned, I have access to free yoga. I might do yoga. Just depends. I'm trying to move my body three times a week is part of my plan. All right, I managed to, I could have been done in 15 minutes and I've rattled on for almost 20 minutes. Um, again, let me know if these, uh, if you like these to be shorter. If you want any information about the services, health and healing services that I offer, the types of things I'm giving to myself to kick off the new year, the same things that I work with my clients, feel free to check out jenniferparsleywellness.com and I will see y'all tomorrow, friends.